The Sheffield Steelers are by far the best elite ice hockey team. You can't even argue. Yes, they may have the most annoying goal song, but the truth lies within their past and future. Today, we are going to look at why the Steelers are the best team, why they will shock many in the CHL, and why they have the best fans. Ice hockey existed in amateur form in Sheffield, but the sport began its return to an era of arenas and stadium-sized crowds with the opening of the Sheffield Arena in 1991 and the creation of the Sheffield Steelers, the ice hockey team that was to occupy the new arena. The Sheffield Arena was built as part of the city's facilities for the staging of the World Student Games and is a sizable stadium originally seating 8,500 and located close to the city center. 1. Ronnie Wood and David Gardner Brown were at the helm as the marketing director at the club and set about promoting ice hockey to a city raised on the footballing success of Sheffield United and Sheffield Wednesday. Wood had a specific target, seeking to attract children and families to the city's new sporting arena. They also began taking players to local football matches and together with mascots in an attempt to pull in football fans too. The Steelers announcer David Sims gave certain players nicknames in the 1991-92 season to help the crowd associate with the players such as Rocket Ron Shudra, Storming Steve Namath, and Magic Mark Mackey. The Steelers were named in honor of Sheffield's industrial past, much like the American football team of the same name based in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. The sharing of nicknames is merely a coincidence. The American football team actually predates Sheffield's team by 58 years and was already popular worldwide due to their dominance in the National Football League in the 1970s. Sheffield and Pittsburgh are considered sister cities, too. The Steelers have continued to fill the capacity of the arena nearly every season since including over 9,000 versus Nottingham on Boxing Day 2021. Sheffield began breaking several British ice hockey attendance records and in March 1996 added an extra 1,200 seats to the arena to meet the growing demand. The Manchester v Sheffield game in 1997 saw a UK record 17,245. Such was the passion for the game at that time. On Sunday, the 3rd of December 2006, the Steelers played in their 1,000th ever game. For the game was against the Bezingstoke Bison at the Hallam FM Arena, for which special orange jerseys had been made for the match. Five, the Steelers lost the game 3-2, to two, 6, and the jerseys were all auctioned off at the game. In the 2001 campaign, the Steelers completed a Grand Slam, becoming only the second club to win the Autumn Cup, League, Challenge Cup, and playoff titles in the same season. They retained the playoff title the following season, the first team to achieve this in the Super League era, beating Manchester Storm on penalties in the playoff final, held at the National Ice Center in Nottingham, in front of a full house. David Matzos was appointed as coach for the 2006-07 season. He led the Steelers to a fourth-place finish in the league and a place in the Challenge Cup Finals. In 2007, team owner Bob Phillips and his wife sold their other elite league club, the Cardiff Devils, in order to concentrate on building the Steelers. 8. The club won that season's Elite League Playoff Championship after beating the Coventry Blaze to 2-0 in the final with goals from Jonathan Phillips and Dan Tessier. The Steelers were knocked out of the following season's Knockout Cup and Challenge Cup early, but finished first in a league campaign that saw them lose just three times in regulation. The 2010-11 season was preceded by a walkout of Steelers management and office staff after a vote of no confidence in owner Bob Phillips. Phillips put the club up for sale, and in December 2010, Paul Reagan, the CEO and owner of the Cardiff Devils, finalized acquiring the rights to the Sheffield Steelers. The Steelers were at the top of the league for the majority of the season, battling it out with the Cardiff Devils.
and won the league after back-to-back -back victories against the Brayhead clan. The Steelers were tied on points with Cardiff, but won the league having more regulation time wins. After several rounds of negotiations, Simon decided not to renew his contract, and Ryan Finnerty was installed as player, coach after. During that season, Sheffield Steelers became the first all team to win a medal in Europe after their appearance in the Continental Cup Super Final. Tony Smith took over as sole owner in August 2011 after buying out Paul Reagan. The Steelers won the 2013-14 playoff final 3-2 against Belfast Giants. From 2014 onwards, any time that the Sheffield Steelers win a game, the player dubbed man of the match does a fast lap around the ice with a pre-planned celebration at the end of their fast lap. This tradition was then called the Eddie named after the player who originated this tradition, Cullen Eddie. Some sources say that this was originally a prank devised by players at the time Mark Thomas and Jason Hewitt who skated over to Eddie and told him that it was a 20-year tradition at the club to do a fast lap around the perimeter of the ice. The prank paid off, and after that the Steelers incorporated this in their match night celebrations 9-10. At the end of season 2014-15, they beat the Cardiff Devils to clinch the Elite League title with 74 points. On the 20th of April 2015, they parted company with coach Gerard Adams. They soon brought in Paul Thompson, former GB coach, as head coach and general manager, 11. At the end of season 2015-16, they became only the second club in the history of ice hockey to become back-to-back -back champions when they defeated the Fife Flyers on the final day of the season to take the Paul Thompson left the Sheffield Steelers on the 1st of October 2018, citing personal reasons. 12. He was replaced as head coach by Tom Barrasso. 13. On the 16th of April 2019, the club announced that Aaron Fox had been appointed as head coach and general manager of the club. 14. On the 8th of March 2020, the Steelers won the 2019-20 Challenge Cup beating Cardiff Devils for 2-3, their first Challenge Cup title for 17 years. On the 28th of October 2023, during a game against the Sheffield Steelers at Utilita Arena, Adam Johnson of the Nottingham Panthers sustained a fatal injury. The injury occurred when Johnson's neck came into contact with the skate of Steelers player Matt Petgrave. The game was halted immediately, and medical personnel from both teams, as well as medically trained spectators, rushed to assist. Players from both teams gathered around Johnson during the emergency response efforts. 1516 South Yorkshire Police are conducting an investigation into the incident and have urged the public to avoid speculation while inquiries continue. On the 13th of March 2024, the Sheffield Steelers brought an end to their for-year trophy drought by winning the Challenge Cup at home against the Guildford Flames 3-1, their second Challenge Cup title in the Elite League era. On the 24th of March 2024, the Sheffield Steelers would clinch the Elite League title for the first time since the 2015-16 all-season qualifying them for the 2024-25 Champions Hockey League season.